Pardon the interruption, Miss Schnee, but your father wishes to speak to you. Thank you, Klein. Good afternoon, sister. A pleasure to see you out of your room for a change. Hello, Whitley. You're in a cheery mood today. Klein made crepes for breakfast. What do you want? I heard father shouting with someone in his study earlier. Mother? No, she's already drinking in the garden. I think it was a man. I just wanted to warn you. I heard he had asked to speak with you. I'll be fine. I know you will. You're strong, like Winter. You never liked Winter. True, but you can't deny her resolve. You seem different. And you've been gone. I'll have you know I didn't stop growing while you were away at Beacon. Anyway, good luck with Father. Thank you. I'm not talking about the good of my company. I'm talking about the good of Atlas, our entire kingdom. That is a load of garbage, and you know it. I beg your pardon. Shock. Will you please just hear me out? You are a trusted friend and ally to this family, James. But what you're suggesting is absurd. You are blowing it out of proportion. The council will never agree to it. You forget. I hold two seats on the council. Your dust embargo has already cost me millions. I can promise you I have not forgotten. So this is about you. Mishni, my apologies. I should have been gone by now. It's okay. We'll continue this at another time. Indeed. Klein can show you out. <laughs> Don't worry. I know the way. Until next time, Jock. Please know, you'll always have a home at Atlas Academy, Mishni. We'll be back in session before you know it. Did you forget your manners while you were away? No, Father. I'm sorry. Can you believe there are still people in the world that blame Atlas for what happened to Beacon? To Vale? Well, they weren't there. It's a wonder Ironwood wasn't stripped of his rank. I suppose the Council trusts him, for better or worse. I trust him. <sighs> Thanks to him, Atlas is forbidden from exporting dust to other kingdoms. A precautionary measure, as he puts it, until we're certain no one is going to declare war. How anyone could possibly find that to be sound logic is beyond me. Which is why the Schnee Dust Company will be holding a charity concert in the coming weeks. We need to show the people of Remnant that we are on their side. That we are all victims of the fall of Beacon. That's wonderful news. I know. And I think it would make a lot of people happy if you performed at the event. Excuse me? Many forget that you were there. My own daughter, a Schnee, on the grounds defending another kingdom. We need to remind them. And we need to show them that the Schnee family is just as strong as ever. Are you asking me if I'd like to sing or telling me? 
I think it would make a lot of people happy. I'll start practicing. That's my girl. Hot coffee, Miss Schnee. I always find he keeps his study dreadfully cold. Thank you, Klein. You know what I think? I think it's to balance out all his hot air. <laughs> Klein? <laughs> <laughs> She's met him. Oh, there's my happy little snowflake. Thank you, Klein. That's precisely my She's point. We offer Fauna's the exact same wages given to the rest of our mining staff. Their argument's completely invalid right out of the gate. Well, I think the bigger issue here is our society as a whole. What? You mean Atlas? Atlas, Mantle... You can't deny the economic disparity between the two. I mean, what exactly are you suggesting? I'm just saying, I don't think it's necessarily an issue of Where are you going? As much as it's one of opportunity. I'm just a little thirsty. Sweetheart, we have people for that. What? No, I can get it. I'll be right back, I promise. Look, no one asked them to move here. But companies like the SDC promised jobs. I'm sorry, I tuned out for a second, but sounds like I'm the good guy again. <laughs> <laughs> It's beautiful. You two match. Yes, it's a lovely painting. So, that was my attempt at breaking the ice. How am I doing so far? <sighs> you are leaving a lot to be desired. Well, I've always appreciated honesty. Henry, Marigold. Weishni. <laughs> I know. I saw your performance. Obviously. <clears throat> you were wonderful. And I promise I'm not just saying that because you're pretty. Honesty, remember? So, you thinking about buying it? No, I don't think so. Yeah, kind of pricey for a painting. It's to raise money. Oh, really? For what? For what? <laughs> I'll admit, I only come to these things for the food and drinks. And the extraordinary company, of course. 
So what? Is it another mantle fundraiser or something? Get out. <laughs> what? Get out, or I will have security escort you out. But I haven't done anything. Leave! Pfft. Whatever. Coming, if you ask me. Honey? What? <laughs> you said the same thing last night. If they're so arrogant to think they can get by without proper kingdom defense, then I say good riddance. Shut up! <gasps> what? You don't have a clue! None of you do! Excuse me? You're all just standing around talking about nothing! Worrying about your hair, your money, your stupid problems that don't mean anything! Weiss, that's enough! Let go of me! You're embarrassing the family! I said, let go! She's the only one making sense around here. Thanks for the party, Shock. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Do you have any idea what your stunt cost us? I... And don't think I'm just talking about Lien here. Our reputation. Our... Our... I want to leave. I beg your pardon? I said I want to leave. I don't want to stay here anymore. I don't want to stay in Alice anymore. Young lady, I don't give a damn about what you want. This isn't about you, this is about the Schnee family name and your apparent insistence on dragging it through the mud. I have done nothing but fight to uphold the honor of my family name. A name that you married into. <sighs> this behavior of yours is incredibly disappointing. You couldn't possibly understand the lengths I've gone to in order to keep this family where it is. You think running off like your sister is going to make the Schnee name stronger? You're wrong. Siding with her only divides us. I'm not siding with anyone. I'm doing what I feel is right, and that does not include wasting my time up here with these clueless people in Atlas. The Schnee family legacy isn't yours to leave. It's mine. And I'll do it as a huntress. No, you won't. You're not leaving Atlas. You're not to leave the manor grounds unless I specifically allow it. You are going to remain here, out of sight and out of trouble, until you and I come to an agreement on your future. What? Your presupposition that you can simply have whatever it is you want is a clear sign of our failure as parents. But from now on, I'll be giving you the full attention you require, starting by keeping you where I can see you. You can't just keep me from leaving. I can, and the staff here will make sure of it. So now I'm just your prisoner? You are my daughter. You're a child. And children are grounded when they misbehave. This is only going to make things worse, Father. People will ask questions. They'll want to know why the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company is suddenly nowhere to be found. Which is why you are no longer the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company. Excuse me? 
Clearly, the trauma you endured at the fall of Beacon was too much for you. Which is why you've generously revoked your claim to the company and its earnings. Passed them on to your brother, Whitley. It's time to wake up and face reality. Yes, sister? Did you know about this? About what? You never liked Winter. You never liked me. But you've been nothing but supportive since the moment I came back. If being kind to my big sister is some sort of crime, then I suppose I'm guilty. You wanted this to happen. It's foolish not to do as father asks. I can't believe you. Don't worry, Weiss. The Schnee family name is in good hands. Hurtful, and here I am about to offer you a favor. Father's taking me into town to introduce me to some of his business partners. I thought I'd see if you wanted me to pick you up anything since you're, well, stuck here. Are you jealous? Is that it? Whatever do you mean? Is that why you hate me? Are you jealous of my abilities? Of Winter's? Hmm. No, not really. Honestly, I find it barbaric. It's beneath people like me, like father. What could a single huntsman possibly do that an army could not? That's why we have one, even if it is run by a fool. I said, leave. Fine, fine. I've got better things to do. Enjoy your training, however pointless it is. What is your plan anyway? What do you hope to accomplish while trapped in your own bedroom?
Master Whitley, I... Um, yes, of course. I'll be just a moment. Head to the first floor library. I'll meet you there. You need to control yourself. You're talking to me about control? Do you even hear what you're saying? I am basing everything on my reports from your daughter. A daughter you stole! But we are not getting into that again. Oh, yes. We have far more pressing matters to discuss, starting with your apparent lunacy. Doc! <sighs> Winter is one of my best. If she's telling me there's a threat in Mistral, then I'm not going to take that news lightly. She's been there for weeks. People are mobilizing. Sudden spikes in weapons and dust trade. Someone is about to make a play, and I do not trust Leo to stop them. You've never trusted anyone other than yourself. And for good reason! If Oz had just listened to me from the start... You need to get a grip. That's exactly what I'm doing. Our people need protection. By this time next week, the Kingdom of Atlas will be officially closing its borders. No one in, no one out. Without the Council's permission. You mean without your permission? And if that becomes the case, I would think you'd want to be on my good side. Down. I told you I'd be here. Are you sure Mistral is safe? No. But it's where I'll find Winter. I suppose she'll be the only family you have left after tonight. I'll always have you. You most certainly will. Now. Thank you, Klein. Okay, you can hide out back in the cargo hold. I'll take you as far as I can, but if we get caught, you're on your own. Understand? Every step we made took us further and further away from the things we knew. And every morning we woke up wondering if just over the next hill would be something good. Or something terrible. We'd never have a chance to see what beautiful things the future might have waiting for us. 